Wow, this girl is the first one up, put on her own outfit, her own hair accessory. Are you a teenager? Good morning guys, just finishing up the vlog. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Sunday mornings, cartoons, food, getting ready for the farmer's market. You guys ready for the farmer's market? Oh hi, what's up, Moss? I've been working, working in the garden, getting food ready, and let's check up on this adobo. 24 hour adobo, it's kind of ridiculous, but I'll probably stop at 20 hours, but it's gonna be delicious. Ooh, the magic of sous vide. Basically, it's this water circulator that keeps this at a constant temperature. Right now it's at 158. If you put your hand against it, it feels hot. It wouldn't necessarily burn you, but if you kept your hand there long enough, it it would irritate your skin for sure. And natto rice. This is the natto. We're gonna be putting egg, some fish flakes, soy sauce. Oh, that looks so good. And we're gonna be eating that for breakfast. These girls really love it. They love that they can watch TV while they eat too. Hmm. Fermented goodness. Gonna fill out the kids' registration forms for school. I think I'm done. We are ready. Heading to the farmer's market. It was not like this before I turned on the camera. Why? Why must you guys do this? This is for Obachan, this is for us. Mm -hmm. Been a while since we've been to this lady's stand. You know we used to buy pies from her all the time? Yeah, this is the same lady. I have been avoiding this station because seriously, I used to buy pies here every single week. Her pies are amazing. Oh. It's a battle. I got my lumpia. Probably not gonna get anything else. Got it, Daddy. <laughs> we just got back from the farmer's market and the co-op. Actually, Daddy, I, didn't, I don't even know what Daddy bought at the co-op. Benji and JB went in. They got Pirate Smoothie. It's the girl's favorite. Bananas, we literally just ran out this morning. Sparkling spring water. Benji loves this stuff. I could definitely use a green juice today. I didn't have any veggies. We have Japanese sweet potato, my personal breakfast fave. It looks like they got some yogurt, blueberry, and vanilla. The girls always just want vanilla yogurt. Avocados. A definite must. 
some limes and lemon. Mommy. Ooh, they got figgies. Figgies and jammies. Farm Mommy. fresh eggs. Oh, these are ham and cheese croissants. I thought these were giant mushrooms. It looks like we're having um, the ham and cheese croissants the next few mornings. Holy cow, this is a giant loaf of bread. Look. We found it because it's so good. I don't know why this reminds me of that scene from Aladdin. <laughs> Green onions. A whole bunch of heirloom tomatoes. Since our tomatoes are not growing. And then carrots, onions, potatoes, the necessities. A ton of donut pieces. We got um, sweet potatoes. Nectarines. And lastly, we got some soap. This is really cool. There is a vendor that sells goat milk soap. This one in particular are a bunch of tiny ones, so they're perfect for travel. Isn't this the most clever thing? So when you're traveling, you don't have to bring your huge bar of soap and then have it get wet and then having to travel with it wet. You know, like it's the little things. Anyway. So that's yeah. cool. Ooh, look at that. It's looking good. It's been cooking for 20 hours. Pour it into the pot where I'm gonna kind of test the flavor out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Consistency, just like adobo. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's hella good. Gotta get a Filipino to try it, honey. Just the sauce. Oh, I guess it could get meat. Give me but... like a little bit of rice. What do you think? He's like a double. There you go. I could have done this in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, honey, but the meat though is well, gonna be tender. I'm sure it will be. Got a little side salad, cherry tomatoes, French green beans, two different colors, green onions, and some chili peppers in mine, all from the farmer's market. Adobo is done. It smells great, just like adobo, and it like the sauce tastes like adobo. But I guess the real, the real deal is the texture of the pork belly. Let's see. melts in your mouth. I have never had this experience. Like I love adobo, especially chicken adobo, but I have never had this experience before. It takes a lot of work though, I don't know. It's worth it. <laughs> eat, the, eat the meat for the... Okay, don't eat it, just eat the meat. Oh eat the God. carrots and the rice, please. Dude, this is bomb. This is legit so good. Honey. What? This is literally the best adobo I've ever had. Yeah, isn't that pretty crazy? I thought Benji was overreacting. I'm like, this is, I was like rolling my eyes so far back. It was so worth it. Thanks, Allie. Allie uh, was the one that said she had, it. she was the one that told me she tried it and she loved it. Thank you, Allie. Shared the website link. Maybe I'll put the website link down below. So but the thing good. is, it, it takes so much time. It is a lot of preparation and I did some fancy things to it, yeah. um, but uh, it, it is worth it. Mia, not really a fan of the adobo, but loves the green beans. Mia's a, not a fan of the adobo and I am and Mia's a fan of the vegetables and I Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I told Judy that tonight, the girls are literally sick. What do you say, Daddy? Their food. Don't worry about it. This happened to me when I was like five or six. My mom did this to me. I remember sitting there. I didn't want to eat my mushrooms. But my mom made me sit there. I think like literally for like a couple of hours, maybe three hours. I eventually ate the mushroom. Didn't like it at all. I love mushrooms now. I'm doing it tonight for the girls. And I think they're really close to finishing their food. Um, I'll wait to on the top. Eat your food. I'll wait to the top. I'll wait to the top. I'll wait to the top. I'll wait to the top.
Juliana, worry about yourself. This wasn't exactly how we thought it would be, having the kids sit down and finish their food. They're just complaining left and right, oh it's too spicy, or I don't like the texture of the meat. Our main goal as parents is to teach our kids to be grateful, especially for the food that we cook and whatever's in front of them. So when they act bratty or say they don't want to eat it, mm -mm. Anyways, I'm gonna start packing tomorrow. I'm going to Cincinnati. I've literally never been to Ohio. I'm going to Cincinnati to go see the Olay Labs, which I'm really looking forward to. I've been working with Olay this past year, and you know, obviously I love their skincare. It's like my main skincare. I love their cleanser, love their moisturizers. So I wanna learn a little bit more about it. It'll just be me. I'm not gonna bring any of the kids. Benji is not coming, so it's nice. Like, it's nice just just me time. I am so proud of you that you sat here, even though you were loud, and ate almost all your food. You oh, really okay. ate a lot of your you salad. You still need to finish. But you still need to finish. What? what? I'm gonna leave this here. Don't let it melt. I got my nails did. Mm -hmm. I did it myself and my toenails. You don't have to see those. <laughs> Stop, honey. I can't look at my ladies. Feet. Aren't they cute? Mm-hmm. They're very cute. <laughs> it's not often that he sleeps by himself in our bed. Like it's either oh. like you're traveling. Like when you're hanging out with your girlfriends or your cousins. How often is that? Like once every three months? Yeah, once every three months. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The office is hilarious. We've been catching up. We'll see you not tomorrow, <clears throat> but the day after. Night-night. Good night. Good night.